Acute myeloid leukemia is a highly aggressive uh, blood cancer that affects people largely in their 60s and 70s, but can occur across the board in children all the way to the very elderly. The majority of the patients with acute myeloid leukemia are increasingly being diagnosed in their 60s, 70s, and 80s because we're all living longer and because AML can be uh, a, a, a complication of prior suppressive therapy with uh, chemotherapy, radiation, and other modalities. Acute myeloid leukemia affects approximately 13,000 individuals per year, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot, but because of the demographics and the aging of the general population, uh, we are on an annual basis uh, seeing that incidence rise. Uh, we're seeing more and more individuals with the disease. And um, most impressively, we are actually developed uh, specific therapies to treat uh, patients uh, who are older with uh, actually uh, more effective therapies that are also non-toxic. So I think that our, um, our paradigm and our ability to treat and manage and understand the biology of acute myeloid leukemia has really been transformed probably over the last two to three years, as opposed to the uh, 10 or 15 uh, uh, years before that that I was in practice and in the, the 40 years since the diagnosis has really been aggressively treated since the 1970s. So as I mentioned, the majority of the patients uh, uh, that get uh, diagnosed, over half of the patients uh, treated with this disease, are going to be above the age of 60. Uh, and we consider young, uh, in AML terms, to be under 60. Uh, in the past, we only had highly aggressive cytotoxic chemotherapy. The standard chemotherapy, you'd be admitted to the hospital for four or five, six weeks, you'd lose your hair, you'd get really violently ill. Uh, and that was not a therapy that many patients could tolerate. It was also a therapy that we knew, uh, based on our understanding of the biology of the disease, didn't work for a number of patients. In the current era, uh, we have, uh, uh, with genomic testing and molecular profiling, have now been able to understand the incredible complexity of acute myeloid leukemia. We now know that uh, it is many different subsets of disease. Uh, if, if we can uh, identify what is the biological driver of the disease, uh, we, we can treat the disease actually in ways that are much more effective and much less toxic than previous therapy. However, it is an essential if we are to tell a patient uh, you have a disease that could actually be treated uh, with a pill, uh, that we identify those patients that are, are going to respond. And, and that, I think, is really um, where the, the, the transformation has occurred and our development of targeted inhibitors of specific pathways driving the disease. It is essential in my practice, and it's sort of been a paradigm change for us to do that molecular testing at the time of diagnosis. Many uh, clinicians were told acute myeloid leukemia is an incredibly aggressive disease, which it is, and warrants treatment immediately within 24 hours of diagnosis. We've actually stepped back from that and, um, and said, yes, we need to bring these patients in, we need to stabilize them clinically, but it is absolutely critical to do mutation testing at diagnosis and at any recurrence of the disease to identify things, molecular abnormalities that we can treat more effectively than with standard chemo.